meeting tonight. It's interminable with this shit. Will it be? Take a look. Goodbye. Not now. Nah. It's too early and I'm too hungover to talk about theory with you. I had an absolute skinful last night. That bog cistern gin. It's tastier than you imagine, but that taste is a trap. My tonsils have second degree chemical burns. Adversaries. Come, comrade. Finally, some peace.
can't wait for today to be over. Knackered. Wait, you're breathing. It's all I can hear. I'm very busy. Make it quick. <sighs> Listen, I'm sure you're perfectly nice, and I'm sure you'd make a great addition to the pistols. But I'm kind of in the middle of a crisis at the moment. I don't have time for this. What? Well, <laughs> what's your stance on murder? I was joking. I don't actually want you to murder anyone. All right, fine. You say you want to help. It would be a miracle, but if you can convince Polyessa to stop fucking throttling hydroponics water supply, I'll happily endorse you. Hell if I know. She's locked the doors to the plant. She keeps saying over the intercom that everything is under control. I don't want to alarm Alice, but if we don't get more water here soon, things in Camden won't be pretty. I'd love to tell you all about myself, but now's not the best time, mate. Maybe later? Right. Deep. Deep in the dark, I like. Step right up. Take a look. Have a look. Farewell. Come see what I've got. Just what you're looking for. Goodbye.
The harder the lock, the greater the reward. Well, sometimes. Oh, now this place looks fun. Ah, it's you. The one from outside. I take it you've spoken to Palmyra. Oh, of course she did. Because there's nothing more important than hydroponics, is there? You can tell Palmyra that we're working on it. And things should be back to normal shortly. I hope. Oh, it was tragic. Bit by a fox, and then bit by a dog that was chasing the fox. And then on the way to the doctor, poor old Mr. Grey fell into the Camden Lock and drowned. Before his passing, Mr. Grey owned a small pump of his own. He sold water at the market, mostly to non-members. They depended on him. Alice doesn't know this, but we're now providing water to everyone in Camden. Pistols and non-members. Most of it's coming from our reserve, which is almost depleted. This isn't sustainable, at all, even with reconfigured filters. But one thing at a time. Filters first, then we'll figure out everything else. My team has already gone out searching, but why not? What's the harm in another set of eyes?
Watch the Geiger. Please tell me you have good news. Wait, really? Ghouls? How could they have got in? We upgraded the ghoul grip traps relatively recently. They must have made their way in around the same time the hooligans did. Captain Reasonable's been so distracted with the commuters. Let me just check the levels. My god, you actually did it. I can't tell you how thankful I am. Here, take this. It still doesn't solve the problem of the non-members, though. I'm not sure. Mr. Gray had a son, Jesse. He's locked himself away in their home and won't come out or speak to anyone. I've been meaning to go back again and check on the boy, but then everything went tits up around here. I haven't had a chance. Would you mind stopping by Mr. Gray's house and speaking to his son, Jesse? If he'll speak to you, maybe you could ask if he'd be willing to donate his father's purifier to the pistols. What? 
Because they're... people. Thank you. of a hoarder, are you? I can taste the first pint on my lips already. Thanks. He was great. And now it's my fault he's gone. I thought it'd be cool to have a pet fox. I'm such a moron. No, he bloody well wasn't. He was a proud non-member till the day he died. That's very sad and all. I suppose you'd say I'm lucky to have my memories. Well, nap off. I'm the one who's grieving. Don't make this about you. You don't know anything. You weren't there. You don't know me, and you didn't know my dad. Because the pistols sure as hell weren't going to. He always said they only care about their own. The purifier is mine, by the way, if that's why you're here, and I'm guessing it is. Maybe one day I'll sell water at the market like my dad did. But for right now, I need to focus on my studies and make sure I've got clean water myself. Yeah, right. I don't understand why the pistols won't just provide water to everyone who lives in Candom. But it's mine! Why should I give it to them? And how do I know that's the truth? All right. All right. 
Yeah. Let the pistols know the purifier is this. Yeah, I was sceptical at first, but the polycule might be the way to go. We seem to get on better the less we see of each other. Hey. Can we be serious for a sec? I told you I had an apology to make. <laughs> Never mind. Some other time, perhaps. Can we be serious for a sec? I told you I had an apology to make. It's about your past. What you told me about waking up in a vat. I always thought it was some sort of joke. Maybe even a ruse to trick me. I never took you seriously. For so long I've been holding back. Holding suspicions. But then that lady at the museum said that's exactly what happened. And I realized you've been honest with me this whole time. I'm sorry. I never believed you before. You've been so open with me and so accepting of me. And here I was, never truly trusting you. Always so gracious. It's just, you know, you, you mean a lot to me. 
Everyone else in this broken city is out for themselves. Every time I've trusted someone, I've gotten hurt. And hurt badly. After a while, I think I became broken myself. I lost sight of what it was to be me. I hide behind these grand visions and big ideals. Whilst in truth, deep, just scared of being honest with anyone. But being with you, I you know I can be myself. Without reservation, without judgment. And I've learned that together, we really can make a difference in the world. Thanks. It's been hard for me to believe that before, but now I finally know it's true. Well, uh, maybe we can take turns being psychic. What do you say? Damn right. Let's head out then, side... Uh, I mean... You lead the way, my fellow adventurer. Did he speak to Jesse? Excellent. I'll have my people head over there shortly. Hopefully the population in Camden stays stable. Otherwise we'll have to figure something else out, won't we? No matter. We'll cross that bridge when we cross it. Thank you for your help. I'll stop throttling hydroponics. Take this. And let Paul Mira know she can stop banging on my door. Was there anything else? Yes. It was no secret that Mr. Gray wasn't a big fan of us. Or so he said at least. But he never left Camden, did he? I always liked Mr. Gray. And truth be told, I could understand some of the points he made. No one claims the pistols have got everything figured out. We're trying our best though. I think that matters. The truth is, things went to shit long before the bombs fell. We have a chance now to do it different. We can rebuild the world better than it was. More just. More equal. Not the whole world, obviously, but our little world. Here in Camden. What do you mean? He could stay in Camden, of course. He can continue going to school. Education here is free to anyone who wants it. Go ahead. Cheers. I can taste the first pint on my lips already. Talk to Polly? Oh, thank Walden. And thank you. 
I don't know what you did, but you just saved us from disaster. Camden hasn't been without food in over a hundred years. My ancestors made sure of that. I couldn't let the hydroponics fail on my watch. Please accept this gift, and know that you have my full and unconditional sponsorship. If there's anything else I can do for you, please don't hesitate to ask. Yes. They ended up in London after the bombs and found refuge in Camden. Others weren't as friendly, but luckily the pistols welcomed them with open arms. It was lucky for the pistols too. You see, the pistols didn't know this at the time, but my ancestors brought with them agricultural knowledge. Books written in the ancient texts described how to farm using hydroponics. None of us can read that language today, but my grandfather could. He taught me everything I know. Yes, manager of the scavengers. She's another member of the council. If it were up to her, we'd be at war with the gentry right now. Alice is one of my best mates. Despite what Ariel Rotten has been going on about recently, I think Alice is doing a splendid job. Go ahead. You mean like the fifth column and Camelot? To be honest, I couldn't care less about them. I don't care about anything outside this building, really. The importance of the work we do here cannot be understated. I'd rather focus on issues in Camden. Let the others fight amongst themselves. Go ahead. It'll be good to have you with us. Quiet. Too quiet. Nice to meet you. I'm Raymond, though most around here call me Captain Reasonable. Nice to meet you. I'm... Oh, <laughs> sorry. A classic British politeness loop there. It's actually pretty simple. There's a cache of guns in a police station in Lewisham. Need you to hop over there and fetch them for me. Sound doable? Or even throw in a monkey to make it worth your while. Game. I'll even sign you an endorsement. Legend. What the hell was that? Who's there? This is bollocks. I'll find you. I'll find you. Time's up. Cover me. You having fun? I can do this all day. Let's see what you're making. <laughs> Need backup over here. Yeah. How much you got left in you? Quick, get them.
I've got all day. It's hard to search for treasure here. Think you're tough? Come on! Always not want that. Tingling. Drop oh. dead already. Never mind. I know you're here. I'll find you. Thought you could hide. We're losing people.
my first fight, prick. How's it going? Excellent. Great work. Uh, here's your signed endorsement, as promised. The people of Camden owe you a debt. Actually, come to think of it, now we have these, I suppose I can spare this. As good as it is, truth be told, I'd rather be shot of it. Gift from Malcolm, you see. Once again, thanks. And don't be a stranger. as anyone has ever secured two sponsors. If I wasn't impressed already, I am now. The third person I'd like you to speak to is John Strutter. Not like Palmyra or the captain, but yes. I'll let him explain. John is... Uh, you'll see. He's had a rough go, but if you ask me, he belongs in Camden as much as any of us do. And I'll be here. and shifts. If you stop for ten minutes, your eyes will adjust. So you're determined to bother me. What do you want? Fine, you can come in. But brace yourself. So, 
What exactly did Alice say to you? Those are part of an important investigation. Very astute. The Camden Council records. Minutes, invoices, all kinds of stuff, really. I'm building a legal case to have my name cleared. But as you can see, there's a considerable amount of research to be done. That's where I need help. Though I'm more than you, it won't be easy. Fine, I'll get to the point. I need you to go find Malcolm Rhodes. He's the former leader of Camden Council. I've written this statement on his behalf. It states that he falsified my signature on several occasions for the express purpose of embezzling money from Camden Council. Now, I doubt he'll be willing to sign that document. He seems to be sticking to his story that I am the guilty party. There is overwhelming evidence that he's lying, but as you can see, it is uh, not easy to find. I need something that I can cross-reference my files with. A diary, a calendar, that kind of thing. If you can get this statement signed, or anything that helps me cut through the noise, I'll happily sign that endorsement on your behalf. What do you need to know? Malcolm Rhodes is... was the head of the council. Someone I knew for years and respected immeasurably. Up until this all came out, I considered him amongst my closest friends. Yeah, that's exactly it. Moron. No, I'm just suspended from working on anything associated with the Council, and all political activity pending investigation. I understand my political career is over, that's fine. But I'm innocent, and my experience could be a benefit to the community. If I can clear my name, I could be useful again, instead of sitting here interminably coming through the past. I would never advocate the use of force, theft, or any vigilantism in the pursuit of justice. Having said that, unfortunately, I do not envision a situation where you will volunteer to help you. How? If you know the exact relevant documents to check, I'd encourage you to point them out. He's very intelligent but arrogant to the point of conceit. He thinks very highly of himself, and is susceptible to flattery. Considering his track record of lying to literally everyone, I'd advise you that talking to Malcolm is a pointless endeavor. But, good luck. Yeah, I was skeptical at first, but the polycule might be the way to go. We seem to get on better the less we see of each other. I wish I could meet the Queen. We won't go quietly, you can count on that. Where do you think you're going? 
It doesn't matter what you say. If your name's not on my list, you're not getting through my gate. I will bet my last ticket that it's... Wait. You're not... Oh, yes, I do remember something about a last-minute name being added. My sincerest apologies. Right this way. Come on, Chop Chop! I'd avoid Piccadilly Street if I were you. A train derailed. From Islington of all places. Took the whole street with it. Mind the gap and all that. God save the Queen! You after some directions, mister? I'd be delighted to tell you everything about it for the very modest sum of a single ticket. It's a bargain if you ask me. Ah, you know what? I'll do you a favor because I like your style. But, uh, don't go around and tell anyone, all right? It'd be bad for business. First of all, this is the Admiral TR. Same as it was back before the bombs fell, except for the blast gate, that is. I do hope Father is proud of me. God, even the streets aren't safe. Did you see that train? The election suit and Bernie Prescott's already campaigning. First of all, this is the Admiral TR. Same as it was back before. Before the bombs fell, except for the bl last gate, that is. That I hear there's a composer well, at the Royal wasn't Arbor good enough to join the Tommies. To make a name for himself. Not sure what his name is. Hey. You're dead! Oh, dear. No, I don't know what I'm saying.
have some spare pins if you need them. Welcome to the Enyeth. Are you a member? I'm afraid I'm not expecting anyone matching your, uh, description. Perhaps you are not quite dressed correctly for the occasion. Oh, how well-mannered you are. Very well, then. And I see you're not armed, as promised. Marvelous. Please head into the back. You'll find your, uh, acquaintance in room four. Life at the top is immensely satisfying. Excuse me. We're having a private meeting here. How rude. A friend of yours, Peter? No. At least I don't think so. What do you want? Oh, Johnny. Damn. And if I don't do what he says? Huh. Like that, is it? Well, I suppose I should be glad of the choice. I thought this day would come sometime. Ain't entirely nice what I did on old Johnny, but business is what it is. And I've had a good run of it. I can't complain about being forced into retirement. Especially with how things have been turning for the Syndicate lately. You're the one, ain't you? There's been talk of some new blood in the Vagabonds fucking things over for the Syndicate. Though you don't look like much. Here, have the ledger. But it won't be no use without a good gabber behind it. Relationships ain't made with bits of paper. And you two. Now that I'm going, fuck you and all you Ponzi gentry twats. I've had enough of sniveling in your shit. Go fuck yourselves. How rude. The commoners really can't change, can they? And after such a respectful business relationship. Sorted. Look, commoner, am I invisible or are you an invalid? Which is it? No problem. Bloody job I've hired you to do. Such Don't a you care? Kind of Show your face surprise. around here again. And what do you want? You? Actually, you might be just who I'm looking for. Someone with enough pluck and definitely fierce enough. That man is of no consequence. I've met rad shrews with more grey matter. Thankfully not. I'm hoping you'd be interested in earning a few tickets. Quite a few, actually. You see, I'm a collector of British history, and it has come to my attention that, at long last, the original East India Trading Company charter has been found. Growing up, I remember my mother telling me that we are descendants of one of the men mentioned in that charter 600 years ago. 
But hooligans, creatures, and other ill ilk prevent me from leaving Westminster to retrieve it myself. Indeed, retrieve it and I'll pay you handsomely. Just for an evening stroll by the water. Find the wrecked ship Caldonia, fetch my charter, and bring it here. Now off with you. That ship could sink at any moment, and the charter would be lost. Maybe I'll visit outside the walls sometime. See how the other half lives. Yes? Who wants to know? I see. I apologize for being blunt. I'm an unpopular man in certain circles. I don't think we've met. The name's Malcolm Rhodes. What can I help you with? Interesting. I'd obviously need to inquire as to the angle you intend to take. I know. Tragic, isn't it? Life isn't fair. Unfortunately, that's unlikely to change anytime soon, and so I'll have to let you and dear little John down. Best of luck with your little witch hunt. I'm in touch with humanity. Please, I'm far too busy to deal with you right now. I've got my eye on you, tramp. a negative attitude. That's what's stopping them. Come on, uh-huh. Talk to Penelope Sharp. I heard she wanted to take someone on her wing. You have questions? Look, Read just leave me alone. I guess I can spare a few minutes. I do hope Father's proud of Look, me. commoner, I'm not buying anything. Shouldn't you be in Eastminster? With Scarborough. You're back. How are you getting on? Let me have a look. How did you get these? Yes, I suppose you're right. Regardless, these documents will be incredibly useful. I can cross-reference the public record with the reality. It won't be an easy process, but it'll certainly be far less troublesome than scouring through everything. I've been cobbling together a fund to help hire some help to sift through it all. However, these documents have made that redundant, so I'll donate the fund to you for your invaluable help with my investigation. Also, as promised, 
Here is my endorsement. I cannot thank you enough for what you've done for me. I had an absolute skinful last night. That bog cistern gin. It's tastier than you imagine, but that taste is a trap. My tonsils have second degree chemical burns. since John agreed to sponsor anyone. How'd you manage it? What a relief. I've always maintained that he was innocent in the whole ordeal. I take it that means he's staying in Camden then? I can't tell you how happy that makes me. Well, congratulations are in order. It is my honor to formally welcome you to the Pistols. Here are the keys to your flat. You should find it fully furnished. If you need anything at all, it can be found at the Camden Market. Yeah, didn't you know? The Pistols provide housing to all members. Yours is a nice one. I lived there myself for a period. It's up to you to find ways to make yourself useful in Camden. Don't be a stranger. Wake up the day to be over. Not good.